Friends in Christ, I greet you on this solemnity of St. Joseph. What a great day always and a great feast. This year, even more so, as Pope Francis declared this the year of St. Joseph. I am Bishop Joseph Kopaz of the Diocese of Jackson, Mississippi. And given the opportunity to reflect upon uh, the beauty of St. Joseph's life, both from the scripture and from the tradition of the church. There's a classic line in the scripture about our Blessed Mother after the shepherds visited. She kept all these things and treasured them in her heart. Well, certainly the church has done that, reflecting on the life of this great saint, St. Joseph. Back 150 years ago, Pius IX declared St. Joseph as the patron of the Universal Church. He was reflecting upon this great treasure through our tradition and, of course, grounded in the scripture. And then Pius XII, St. Joseph, patron of the workers. And later on, St. John Paul II, when he reflected eloquently upon St. Joseph as the guardian of the Redeemer. And now Pope Francis peering deeply into the scripture and looking at our tradition, has written a wonderful, wonderful text for us, Patris Corde, with the heart of a father. That who is St. Joseph's life, that is his legacy, that is his gift to us. When we consider the scripture, of course, the Blessed Mother is right at the heart of God's plan of salvation in the New Testament, but there is St. Joseph accompanying her faithfully. As Pope Francis says, he is beloved, he is so tender and loving, he's obedient to the will of God, he's accepting of incredible events in his life, he's courageous, he's hard-working, and he's out of the limelight, but he is so present in the plan of salvation. When you consider the Annunciation, when you consider the visitation, although not physically present, Mary's joy in part was because of the unconditional love of this man. It reminds me of that classic saying, behind every successful man is a good woman. In this case, behind this amazing woman is a good man. And we know the events of the infancy narratives, the flight into Egypt, all of it indicates someone who is so deeply grounded in a life of faith, an inner life that's so rich that he could receive the angel's message and had the capacity to respond and then to accept Mary and to accompany her throughout life. In my life, St. Joseph has been very special. Obviously, it's my name. My godfather was Joseph and my dad, although not named Joseph, he was Stanley both father and godfather, wonderful examples and models to me throughout my life of someone caring, someone faithful, someone hardworking. And like images flood my mind as I reflect back today of my father just being present regularly throughout my life, from taking naps with him to him helping me on my paper route, watching him faithfully pray every day, kneeling before going to bed. I mean, tremendous images. Then my godfather, the same, lived to be 96. He just recently died. And throughout his life, a daily communicant, someone who just cared for others with his wife. And one time said to me when he was laid off because his company closed, within a week he was working. And his words were, if someone can work and the opportunity is there, then a man should work. That's part of my tradition and legacy of such stability and faithfulness. All of that representing to me the great St. Joseph, as, Saint, as Pope Francis recently said, that he represents so many people in our world today who are serving every day, working every day. They're not in the limelight, but they're caring for people, especially in the pandemic. So what a great saint for the church and for the world. And I'd like to conclude with the prayer at the end of Pope Francis's letter 
Patris Corde, Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too show yourself a Father and guide us on the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. God bless you on this marvelous day.